Okay, mm -hmm. so let's have this conversation here before we get into the second game. Sure. What's your goal with Leak? What is the to end goal? The game. What? But what is better? What is better to be a better team player? Like to always make the best decisions to add value to the game. But that's not. I mean, I guess, but that's too ambiguous. Okay. What's the goal? Gold, to... diamond. Why do you want to get better? Who cares? Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, what's the goal of playing the game? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I want to get into diamond, but okay, um... perfect. That's a good. That's a good goal. Okay, so let's 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 peel some onions back on this goal. Okay, that's not a gold goal. That's diamond goal. Okay. Playing to diamond, just as someone coming into this game, there's gonna be a couple things that have to change then, okay? So I pulled up your op.gg is kind of like to to go on to go on a, a point here. So you haven't been playing that long. I can see that you've played a little bit, but first things first, this will never work unless you get more volume in, okay? We, you will never get diamond unless you play this game a lot. I think that you're going to be surprised at my Lucian mechanics based off of, I think that you're yeah, You think I'm going to be totally fair. I, I, don't, if, I wouldn't say impressed but I if think you, that you're gonna, If you want to go ahead and run it Let's run it But I'm telling you right now in the interest of saving you money <laughs> and me yelling at you it's not going to end well Let's just do it Good. You can yell at me, I don't, I don't care man I okay. get yelled at by scarier dudes Okay, let's see it What the hell? Mm-hmm So we get his barrier and he TP'd to lane. Uh-huh. So now you want to get your ward down on upper river. Okay. So just like just in the river. Do it now before the wave comes down. See, it's not in river enough. So you want to get it a little higher, but it's fine. Him. Yeah. Just trying to bait him and keep him here. So this guy's probably basing. There you go. Alright, good. Just reset. Should I go two long swords or Yeah, eight? I would. Yeah, I would. And then again, we would ping Baron, try to get Baron done, end the game quick. And then it would just be a reset. And then you would just buy what you can and then group and try to end as soon as possible. This is what I would do here. Got it, dude. All right, I'm gonna take you down a line of questioning here. All right. About this game. We're going to do a little, a little exercise, okay? Sure. On a scale of 1 to 10, how hard do you think you carried this game? Uh, 
not at all. Actually, I just did my job. Scale of one to ten. Uh, probably a five. Okay. There's a, there's a couple of difficult fights where if I give up any sort of shutdown gold with Mord or anything like that, it could get a little dicey. But I like playing Lucian because it's kind of like on a a knife's edge all the time, you know. So, <clears throat> I want you to go to the beginning of the game. Or not the beginning, but the beginning of the lane phase. Get out there real fast. Here's the thing with Lucian. I'm going to use a metaphor for you so that you can understand my frustration with this champion in general. Okay? Uh -huh. So you go into lane and not only... You can pause this. So you go into lane and not only do you get a troll lane, you get a lane where... Period, point blank, and back up before you flash. Period, point blank. There is no universe where you should ever lose it's impossible for you to lose unless you're doing something absolutely stupid you almost you almost screwed it up from the jump it is before you flashed okay so that's where you should move the replay right there so you flash forward basically there's no need to flash back it up again and slow it down um you can use plus and minus to slow it down slow it down to like yeah now pause it if you can it's normally p so here you have this situation where you're gifted a lane right this is the type of stuff that for lucian should be gg okay uh -huh. game's over here you make it a lot worse by flashing in but the metaphor or the analogy or whatever that I'm going to use here is imagine that you and I go to play basketball. Okay. Uh -huh. And I'm four feet tall and you're eight feet tall. And you beat me at basketball by a few points. Would you say then I own this guy at basketball? No. Absolutely not, right? You're eight feet tall. How would I ever how would I ever score a fucking basket? How would I right. ever do anything? So this is why I said this game is kind of unfortunate to illustrate the point that I want to illustrate because this guy is like so bad and this matchup is so bad for him. Uh -huh. Um that it's like the this is the worst thing that could probably happen for coaching is that like you get this type of shit. But I could still illustrate the point as follows. So here you ignite him. Which, I'm going to tell you, it's probably a bad ignite. There's no reason to ignite because holding okay. the ignite instead and just letting the wave slowly push and then you just mm -hmm. stare at him the whole time would have been better for, like, the word you want to use, dominating this, game, like, shitting on this lane, right? You want to mm -hmm. shit on this lane. So, if you back it up right before you ignite, so there's the wave. Which way is the wave going? That's my way. Yeah, exactly, right? That's great. So, he cues it, right? Sweet. Now, right when you EN pause it. Bam, right there. See how you ignited right there? Now, mm -hmm. this is what I was talking about. He used his teleport, so there's no need to ignite him. All you had to do to make this game a 4v5 is right here. You literally okay. just E forward, auto him a couple times, and that's it. And at because that point... If he moves up. If he moves up, he gets punished, right? Like, yeah. Is that and now okay. you can hold the lane in this position to your heart's content, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. But you need to realize this is the lowest win rate champion in mid, or one of the lowest win rate champions in mid. Okay. Um, Which means, to use the basketball analogy, he is balanced for the absolute tip top players, the players that don't miss these scenarios. Okay. When you go for a kill on Lucian, or when you go for lane phase on Lucian, you need to be squashing farm, okay? Just slightly mm -hmm. being ahead in CS will not be good enough on this champion, I assure you. Okay. It will never work. And when you get lanes like these, you have to fucking obliterate them for picking it. The okay. champion is balanced for those circumstances. His win rate drops dramatically as the game goes mid to late. It plummets. So the problem mm -hmm. about closing out games, it hinges from this. So like, if you're if you're absolutely like just owning a lane and he has no farm whatsoever, he can't do anything. Lucian will feel fine because the opponent just won't exist. You'll be so far ahead of him. It's like it's like a four v five, like I said. 
However, if we're missing opportunities like this one here, and we and we miss a chance to kill uh, Echo with barrier and no TP, right? If we're not killing mm -hmm. this guy here, and we're not zoning him off a of farm here, and you use your flash and then you tank like two turret shots in this spot, that's the type of stuff that's going to impact your ability to crush a game. Um, okay. Now, in regards to whether or not you could ever play this champion to diamond, I would bet probably never, but I, again, I'm going to give you a little bit of credit because this game is shit, this one. Like, this game here is a shit game to, to like, teach. But the reason yep. that I say you'll probably not make it is because even though you're doing okay at, at just, you know, pressuring a little bit, that's what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to do that, right? There's a couple things at play here. A, you haven't played enough games yet to ever climb to the elo that you say that you would want as a goal, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. B, the champion you're going to play is probably going to... Remember I said 500 games? Mm -hmm. Probably going to take more than that on Lucian. Probably going to take 800. So in order to frame it up for you in a way that you would understand, if you're going to play this champion, this is your life now, right? This is now, mm -hmm. after this coaching session, it's your life. It's not like, oh, I play Lucian, I play this, and I play this, and I play this. It's going to be, I play Lucian hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, I mean, hundreds of games. Yeah, that's totally fine. Like, I get it. Like, I, I play this game first and foremost to have fun, you know, mm -hmm. otherwise it's... And so I, I honestly don't think that I won't play Lucian, but, you know, like you said, in niche picks where I know that I can... Where I, I should slap, and if I don't, then it's my fault. But what I want to know is, like, how do I lane better? Like, how do you lane better? So how do I, basically, how do, I, how do I set traps and, and all so that? So basically, kind of stuff? the way the way that this is gonna work is in order to, to get you to where we need to get you to. Mm -hmm. After after watching you play today, your biggest problem is that you're not at expat who called it the int line. Okay, you're still I'm kind sorry, of un it it's called the int line. It's like you uh -huh. get right up to the line of where you can die. Like you said, the knife's edge, right? So if this this echo game, and I apologize that I'm not able to like skim this. It's not my fault. I think I tried. I tried. I literally tried. <laughs> I've been trying to reload this thing this entire session, by the way. Um, basically, what it is, is mechanically, you're not there yet. But it has to be. You need to play on that line all game long and never let go of it. And you have to play right on the outside of inting with Lucian. Mm -hmm. And other than being like, hey, you're not doing that well enough yet. I can't really help you. But what I can tell you is in this matchup, you had the melee matchup and you mostly just pushed into him. And every time you queued, your Q would go through all the minions. So you're not managing the, the waves well enough yet to where you're actually strangling the guy. If you skim this VOD, and I have to move on the next client soon, but if you skim this VOD, what's going to happen is you're going to see yourself every time you trade onto this guy, you push the wave forward really quick. Okay. You want to make it like this scenario here. Play this out for a second so I can show you. Mm -hmm. Like just watch this fight for a second. So normally I, I have a Q. Like I don't know. What so, I, I think maybe I was so trying to pause prove a it point. for a second. Yeah, you were. I know you were. Which honestly, being confident and saying I can do this, I I'm not even mad. Honestly, I'm not. I that doesn't really bother me as much as it would bother a lot of people watching this. I'm gonna tell you that, like, from my perspective, I think the only way that you're gonna be able to get better at this game is kind of just being like, oh, I'm good enough to do this. That's great, but. We could say things until we're blue in the face, but until you put mm -hmm. the hours in on the game and prove it, one game here is never going to change it. Even if you'd killed that Echo because he doesn't press barrier like a moron, it wouldn't have changed anything in my opinion, right? That's basically yeah. what you're doing. But the reason that flashing forward there is bad is because you're trying to prove that I could do this, right? But in reality, mm -hmm. proving that I can do this, and this is kind of the crux of my whole argument, proving that you can do this has nothing to do with killing him. It really doesn't. It right. means so little to me. I promise you. Yeah. What it matters. You wanted, you wanted to see me to choke the lane out, basically. Yes. I yeah, love that you framed it that way. Yes. That's perfect. Yeah. I so don't care. Is, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I was just going to say, I, I really, I, I have watched all of your lane management stuff, and I have incorporated a lot of that in my game. Mm -hmm. 
like I honestly wanted to smash this guy just to prove a point like I said and, and, and honestly like in, in hindsight for the point of showing how good I can play the game that it served that purpose but I think next time because I am going to book you again probably like a couple of weeks and okay. uh, I'll, I'll work on exactly that just making sure that I'm understanding that a kill doesn't so, necessarily mean that I'm snow like I'm smashing in let's, lane. let's frame it let's frame it like this because I'm really happy for you that you you see what I'm trying to say I'm not trying yeah. to shit on you for no reason I'm trying to I'm trying to be critical here so that you understand everybody goes to this right mm -hmm. you're playing the eight foot tall NBA player champ here right versus mm -hmm. when you get these types of lanes you're gonna squish them it's just how it is it's gonna be how hard did we squish this lane where right. it starts is slow push and pressure okay if you can kill if you can pressure them that's great but remember that the most important part of it is the slow push if they go to contest the farm you punish them really really hard okay okay but then you go right into slow push mode see when you're saying oh i want to punish this guy the way that we punish him is if you eat if if you played it perfectly right what i was looking for in this scenario because i guess the only way to really frame this is to show you what i'm at like what I, what i would give you like an a plus for you did everything that you did you e forward you comboed him and then you backed up and just last hit as the wave crashed and then as the wave goes under you walk under tower he freaks out on you maybe he autos and then you auto him ignite and then e backwards and kill him okay because he would have tanked all the minions you would have killed him under tower it would have been super smooth super clean and you would have had like perfect farm so there's a couple things that needed to clean up if you book me again okay. that's great but what i want from you you don't have to book me right away you can wait it doesn't you know it's okay but what i would recommend before you book me again play a shit ton more games first mm -hmm. then focus on slow push slow push slow push slow push then farm right now if remember i'm never going to look at any individual game and be like oh yeah this is great i'm going to go through your match history and i'm going to see discipline or not in order to play this champion you have to be like me when i was like learning the jace thing and by the way was not successful learning the jace thing while coaching half my fucking time right it's like it's like <laughs> trying to it's like trying to be a uh you know a pro skateboarder or something while trying to coach it right it's just the stupidest shit ever but what right. what i try to focus on and what i got pretty good at at least is farming well okay mm -hmm. you have to farm flawless best you can right i'm not expecting i'm not expecting perfection i'm looking for slow pushes good farm and and that's the framework okay if they contest the wave on the slow push you punish and then you go right back to the slow push again and you keep doing that because you need to you need to realize that, like we said, the, the main takeaway here is that it's not about, it's, you will kill them a lot doing this, but that's, the, it should fall in your lap. I harp on that all the time. It should right. like, the, it's just what's gonna happen because they feel like, shit, I can't get any farm. The fuck is this, right? Like, right. I can't, because mm -hmm. I faced good Lucian in high elo. That's what it is. You just go, what the fuck? Like, I can't get any CS versus this stupid shit. They tilt right. out because they're lower elo, they die. Th that's expected. Let's make sure that every single lane from here on, that's the focal point. Then once you get to mid game, you're gonna feel a lot more like, oh, okay, I got here with, with solid farm. Then start thinking about like transitioning to side laning and stuff like that. But for now, okay. where you're at and what we got to see today, that's where I want you to just take your mental energy and just mm -hmm. dial it in on that. After the lane phase, you can kind of lo loosen up a little bit just to limit test, but again, I would much rather you see I would much rather you end games with huge farm and less KP with Lucian. Okay. Okay. For now. Because I need you to shift the way that you view the game first. Mhm. Mm because again, you're the you're the tall basketball player. You're supposed to win this part. We need to squash it though to justify this pick because as the game goes on, you're not gonna have any like utility. You're not gonna have anything that you bring to your team other than how hard you fucked over the other guy. Right, right. That's that's the that's the hidden that's the reason his win rate's shitty. Because what they do is, and in your defense, you seem pretty mature about me, like needle in this pick so hard. In your defense, everybody that plays this champion does something similar to what you did today. To varying mm. degrees of ego, right? right they right. go, oh, I'm winning. No fucking shit, you're winning. Right? As a coach, I have to go, no fucking shit. 
Yeah, and that's what I, that's what I mean when I was trying to ask you, like yeah. when I was telling you, I'm trying to find other ways to win the game rather than staying in mid, making this guy like, you know, gimp, shove under lane. Gimp and... the guy, side lane, and then we'll, you know, if we can get you past this, this is your first checkpoint now. So focus okay. on this. If All I right. coach you again the next time, we'll if we can get to the mid game healthy and clear and and everything squared away, then we can work on like, okay, how do we rotate? How do we do this? How do we do that? Okay. What, what's a good um what's a good cs per minute goal to have just I mean, you I should guess be aiming be... high sevens low eights every okay. game and you're at 5.3 right it's gonna be hard as fuck for you <laughs> right but that's well, the I mean, reason why like i take your time yeah yeah it seems like it's a pretty easy fix as far as the it's CS discipline goes. it's mental it's it's more discipline than i think most people are willing to handle for a video game mm -hmm, it really is for sure so it's like you just you're like oh i can give it you know i can fling my ability out here it's like nope focus up right don't get lazy but anyways yeah. i have to move on to the next client this is perfect though I'm, I'm really happy you got to this point with this because now i know at least leaving this i know that you understand where my my headspace is at so good shit, dude